What is going on guys, Greggles TV. This is the BenQ EW3270U HDR 4K monitor. So this is kind of a rare breed kind of at this moment. There's not a lot of HDR 4K monitors in the world and this is definitely one of them. It goes for about $700, but it's 32 inches wide it's a really you know big monitor my last monitor was 32 inches and it was also a ben q but this one is newer updated has hdr built into it and has some more features like that's better for your eyes as well you can put in like blue light and things like that so it's got tons of stuff to go by uh, in case you're looking for a monitor so i want to tell you what i used it with i used it for gaming i used it for watching videos I used it for surfing the web, editing videos, and uh, just before we get too in depth with all of those, it all worked great. I had no issues with it, nothing like, I was like, oh, it doesn't look right, or this doesn't look right. The only issue I did have is when enabling HDR, uh, it looks kind of funky. It's not the monitor's fault though, it's NVIDIA. If you look up NVIDIA HDR in Windows 10, there's an issue with it that uh, NVIDIA needs to update their drivers or their software so that it's compatible with Windows 10 because when you enable it, it looks really gray and kind of weird. And that's not indicative of this monitor because when I plugged in uh, my Xbox uh, and played it through that, it looked perfectly fine with no issues at all with HDR turned on. So it's something to do with Windows 10 machines and NVIDIA uh, graphics chips that have HDR enabled. But anyways, let's get back to the monitor. It has four video inputs on the back, two HDMIs, one display port, and a USB Type-C port. It's not the thinnest monitor, but it's also not too thick for a 32 inch display. The design overall isn't very sexy, but it is functional. Navigating the on-screen menus are really easy to find what you're looking for. The display produces a big, bright, beautiful, clear image. The viewing angles are fantastic. Here's a video of me playing Fortnite to show how well games look. And here's a video of me playing a beautiful 4K YouTube video. The only thing I don't really like about this monitor is the speakers and I'm not that surprised because monitor speakers are never good and these are no exception. So if you want sound, definitely use you know separate speakers. But if you don't care about sound, then hey, you got speakers built into this monitor. Otherwise, I love the monitor. It's big, it's bright, it's beautiful. Uh, after playing with my NVIDIA control panel, I got the colors the way I like them. It's just great. It lo everything looks really, really nice on this monitor. It's 4K, it's large, and at 700 bucks, it's expensive, but if you look at other 4K monitors, you know, in this price range, it's actually reasonably priced. So I'm giving it a thumbs up. I really, really like it. I've had one previously, but you know, this, like I said, this is a more updated model and uh, I like it again. So really cool. Uh, if you want to pick one up, I'll link it down below. Thanks for watching guys. And I will see you down the road. Peace.